Well, welcome back to NRA Gun Gurus, presented by Henry Repeating Arms. And tonight's episode is all about the guns of the Springfield Armory. Yeah, and our guest tonight should know a lot about that. He's been there at the Armory since 1998. He's the curator at the Springfield Armory. Please welcome Alex McKenzie. Welcome, Alex. Hello. Thank you. Hey, Alex. Thanks for having me. Got to ask the first question I'm sure you always get. Can you fix my Springfield Armory rifle or pistol for me? <laughs> you guys are different from the commercial company that's known as Springfield Armory that uh, produces a lot of guns based on original Springfield Armory designs. Yes, we are. Uh, the, the historic Springfield Armory, which we're a historic site, commemorates the Springfield Armory that started uh, manufacturing 1795 and closed down in 1968. It was a government factory making arms for the military. And after the armory closed, because it was a government factory, the name is in public domain. So an uh, enterprising uh, company started up uh, calling itself Springfield Armory and continues manufacturing. The Springfield Armory did not start out as an armory, did it? It actually started out uh, in 1777, uh, right in the early days of the revolution. And uh, uh, largely because of a guy named Henry Knox. Uh, who was George Washington's chief of artillery. When uh, Henry Knox was taking the captured cannon from Fort Ticonderoga in the winter of uh, 1776, he uh, came right up uh, State Street next to this open field. Uh, uh, and uh, we don't know if he saw it then, but certainly he was aware of it because after they used those cannons to kick the, Brit the British out of Boston, that area became safe. Uh, and a good place to start concentrating all the weapons they were getting in, like the Charlevilles from France, uh, before getting issued out to the uh, fighting in upstate New York. So it became an arsenal. So the arsenal is where they stored the guns, and then what began actually manufacture, it became an armory. You got it. So uh, uh, 1794, Congress says, we need to start making our guns. Uh, so they started manufacturing in 1795, largely because they already had the facilities and and buildings there from the arsenal, so they could get started pretty quickly. 